guys and welcome to another video here at the Aussie Seafarer. In today's video I'm showing you guys through the basic operations of a bulk carrier. A bulk carrier is a vessel designed to carry huge loads of loose non-packaged product. On this particular voyage the ship is carrying a product called gypsum which is used in the manufacture of plasterboard, gyprock and fireproof cladding. As soon as the ship arrives at the port the crew prepares the vessel for loading of cargo. This includes opening of hatches as well as uh, emptying ballast water tanks. As this is just seawater, it can be released over the side into the ocean. The ship's cranes are moved into a position out of the way and the loader commences as soon as possible. The cargo is transferred from the shore to the ship by a series of huge conveyor belts. The loader moves up and down the berth on a set of tracks and uses these conveyors to load the cargo. The loader must move fore and aft to evenly distribute the cargo throughout the hold. As we sail for the next port, the ship must be secured for any condition of sea, regardless of predicted weather. arrives at the discharging port, the cargo holds are opened again and the discharging equipment is prepared. The crane operators arrive and discharging can commence. Discharging of bulk carriers is always achieved through some combination of cranes and grabs and hoppers or series of hoppers. These can distribute the cargo evenly onto a conveyor and into trucks. As the ship is discharging its cargo, the ship's officers fill the ballast tanks with seawater to maximise stability during the return voyage. This is called the ballast voyage. During the ballast voyage, the ship's crew needs to clean the cargo holds to make them ready for the loading of the next cargo. The effectiveness of the cleaning depends on the quality of the next cargo to be loaded. If it is a non-food grade cargo, the holds can be simply washed out with seawater. However, if the next cargo is food grade, the holds will then need to be washed with fresh water and inspected for cleanliness prior to loading.
Once the cargo holds are clean and dry, the ship can arrive in the loading port and loading can commence all over again. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.